This is Coach Rich Campy, the Thinking Coach with Pro Advisor Coach. Today's Grin message, I am grateful for um, the ability just to slow down and just to reflect. And the intentional moment is around patience. So let's tie those together. Let's look at patience right now. Patience. It's really an exciting space around patience, but in this instant popcorn generation of microwaves and instant text and um, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all these ways to connect so quickly, patience really has become a virtue. And I'm so excited about the fans and about what has happened with our Chicago Cubs. I mean, talk about patience. Patience from the city, patience from the fans. I mean, it's been a long ride. 1945, the curse was planted by the Billy Goat Tavern owner. P.K. Wrigley ordered that the pair leave because the goat stuck. As they were being escorted from the park, Sienis was heard saying, the Cubs ain't gonna win no more. The Cubs will never win a World Series as long as the goat is not allowed in Wrigley. And we have not won a World Series since then. But it didn't stop. Even in the final game, even the final game, it gets tied up. 6-6 six, six, into the ninth, going into overtime. I mean, we still needed patience even in this game. So, very exciting, awesome stuff. Go Cubbies for sure. So many fond memories growing up in Chicago. My grandma, grandpa, and parents, and family, and cousins with the Cubbies, and listening to Harry Carey, and going to Wrigley Field, and um, just really special memories. So, very exciting to, to experience the patience paying off. Here's Jose Ramirez. Theo Epstein is the president and the head of baseball operations for the Cubs. He took over in the fall of 2011 and he told Cub fans, I have a plan, but you're going to have to be patient. How often is it that a plan actually works? And this is a good young Chicago team that's going to be good for a long time to come. Yeah, it did take them a while. Of course, they had to lose a lot of games to get that plan enacted. But you are exactly right. This is this is a team, as well as Cleveland, built to win a few more years than just right now. Two out, nobody so, on there's the also this bamboo, right the Chinese bamboo tree, right, where you water it, water it, water it. Every year it doesn't grow. It doesn't, You don't see anything for years and years. And then a little bit comes out of the ground and it grows 80 feet within six weeks. 80 feet within six weeks, the Chinese bamboo tree. It's interesting though, because patience, it can work for us or against us. Let's say for example, that we wanted to lose weight. It takes patience. You know, if we wanna work out, if we wanna get in shape, we have to do a little bit over time. It doesn't happen overnight, but it also goes the other way. Because if we eat a bag of Doritos, and I love Doritos, if I eat a bag every single day, that's a problem, but it doesn't hit. If I just do it once or twice, every so often, call it a zag, right? Once a week, once a month, it's not so bad, right? So it's the compounding of time that happens. So we can use patience for us or against us. There's a lag time there. So let's take a look at where this shows up in the mind scam. This patience part is really right here. It's lowering that practical thinking, right? Lowering it enough that we slow things down a little bit and we're not about massive action. Make it about the people, make it about the process, make it about what's right for you. Let's check out this quick video. There's a, a study that was done by Walter in the late 1960s with kids, the age four year old kids. And here's what they did. They took these kids and they said, here's a marshmallow and we're going to give you this marshmallow. And if you can wait 15 minutes without eating the marshmallow, you're going to get two marshmallows. Can they wait? Let's check it out. Okay, so here's the deal. There's a marshmallow. You can either wait, and I'll bring you back another one. So you can have two, or you can eat it now. So you can eat it now, or you can wait, and I'll bring you back two. Okay? Okay, I'll be back. Oh, 
here's what happened. Two thirds of the kids ate the marshmallow right away or within you know the 15 minute marker. When they went back and looked at those kids later from the Stanford research by Walter, when they looked at those kids back 14 years later, the one third of them that did not eat the marshmallow, I mean delayed satisfaction or patience, scored an average of 250 points higher on this SAT scores. They were overall well-rounded, they took care of themselves better, they adjusted well into what was happening in their lives. So patience is a virtue, but it's worth it. Is it working for you or against you? Now I am the voice. I will lead, not follow. I will believe, not doubt. I will create, not destroy. I am a force for good. I am a force for God. I am a leader. Defy the odds. Set a new standard. Step up. Step up.